Hello friends, it is Thursday, or Wednesday, the 31st of August. Um, my name is Leslie Bolas, and this is Leslie's Cancer Confessions. I just finished a three-part series on living with metastatic breast cancer. You can find from the previous three videos, um, living with breast cancer. Uh, the first one is diagnosed with breast cancer living with breast cancer, and uh, preparing for end of life, um, all about my journey with metastatic breast cancer. Today I went for my oncology visit, my monthly visit. Um, it was also a day where I was getting results from a CAT scan and um, results from vein mapping ultrasound of my left arm. Um, I have a really enlarged abdomen and have gained quite a bit of weight over the past six weeks. For uh, four weeks, I gained 15 pounds, and I'm very uncomfortable. The suspicion was that I had fluid in my abdomen or possibly had um, metastasized to my liver. I had the vein mapping in my arm because uh, three months ago I was diagnosed with having a blood clot in that area that was causing some issues with my port, uh, making it swollen and hurt. So the vein mapping results are that the blood clot is gone and I no longer have to take Xeralto, which is great because I really am happy to remove one medication, you know, at a time from my medication arsenal. I take a lot of medicine. Um, the results from the CT scan are that there is no fluid in my abdominal cavity. I do not have any signs of spread to my liver, um, but the fluid in my lung, I have it on both sides, but in my left side it's increased a little bit. And how they know that for sure it has increased is three months ago when I had my most recent PET scan, I had what they called a nodule in my left lung that they believe had been present but unable to view from previous tests because the fluid had covered it. Um, and the fluid in your lungs, when you have fluid in your lungs, it is very dense and gray, so anything that would be present like a tumor or a nodule, uh, cyst, um, scar tissue, isn't visibly easy to see because all they can see is the dark gray from the fluid. Um, so three months ago, I had the nodule, and now the fluid in my left side is greater so it is up to the level of where the nodule was and um, they can't see it any longer but I'm having pain that's consistent with the nodule having increased in size. So what they're going to do is send me for another thoracentesis. This will be my uh, initially in my first year I had six of them and I have had, three, so this will be my 10th thoracentesis in five years. Um, they will remove fluid from my left lung so that they can then do a um, x-ray of my chest to see if the nodule is present. If my breathing improves, then they will wait a week and do the fluid that is in my right lung. And um, hopefully I won't need another thoracentesis for a while. Um, if I do, they will put a like a shunt in there so that uh, it can be drained manually without having to go through the whole process of performing a thoracentesis. Um, so the weight, why, why have I gained so much weight so rapidly? Well, while talking to the doctor, I uh, reminded him that my mother is on thyroid medication and my daughter as well has to take that. And um, 
in my reading about metastatic breast cancer and prolonged chemotherapy use, I pondered the possibility that my thyroid might be damaged. So he did run some tests for thyroid, and I will have those in two days, and I will know whether or not there's any issues with the thyroid, and if there is, we'll get that squared away. So, sorry, I'm, I'm holding up a flashlight to light myself because it's really dark in the living room because it's cloudy outside. So, um, so I, that is it. I, I don't know what has caused the excessive weight gain. Of course, a lot of it is probably related to the use of letrozole to suppress my estrogen. Um, but I do have symptoms of thyroid issues. Of course, that could also be caused by the letrozole and the Ibrant's excessively thinning hair, extreme fatigue, um, loss of eyebrows and the, the weight gain. So of course those fit into the symptoms of a lot of illnesses and diseases and side effects. And I have them all cancer and medications, side effects. So I guess we'll see. Um, I'm a little, I mean, I'm not I'm not bummed that I don't have something wrong with me. Don't get me wrong. I'm so glad to know that I don't have any further metastasis and that I don't have fluid in my abdomen. But then the reality is that I'm just fat, and that's kind of bumming me out. So um, I lead a relatively sedentary life right now, and, you know, I'd like to increase my activity, but when you aren't well... There's only so much you can do. Um, so that is the update on that. And yeah, I'm going to end that here today. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like, follow, or subscribe. And if you think this video can be helpful to anybody that you know, please share it. Thank you. Bye.